from previous two sessions we have created admin registration form and we have created admin login form and also we have created the admin table okay as i told you i will be telling you what all you have to do to perform this logic so for that you can see inside this okay inside my playlist from video number 37 i have created user login page user registration page okay everything we have seen and from video number 37 to video number 44 you can just refer this one to get the php logic okay the entire process is same we are going to do password hashing we are going to store the data inside the database we are going to fetch the data everything okay whatever we have done for user everything is same for admin as well so again i don't want to repeat the same thing so i'm just telling you if you want to perform admin action if you want to insert the admin data if you want to give admin the credentials okay whatever it is you can just refer these videos there is no change in any process the entire thing is same okay that is the reason i have just created this simple template admin login and admin registration okay you don't worry i will just explain you what all you have to do now inside this admin registration you can see for this input button name i have given here admin registration okay let me just come here okay this uh, video is very important i'm just going to explain you what all you have to do and from where you have to copy the entire code i'll just come to users area inside this you can see we are having user registration and user login i'll just open this user registration i'll just close as of now i'll just close this admin login here i'm having user registration you can see first inside admin registration you have to include this one because this is very important okay we are connecting to database and also we are using some functions so here i have just included that one then rest entire thing is same you can see we are having the same things then whatever value you have given inside this name attribute right user registration and inside this i have given admin registration so whatever you have given there you just have to check for that condition if this is set only then i'm accessing all the values i'm storing inside this variables after that i'm just selecting all the data from the database i'm checking for the condition if this username and if this email is present or not inside the database if that is present then i'm executing i'm just counting the number of rows if that is present i will be giving this username and email already exist or else I will be checking for the password and confirm password if both are not getting matched then i will be getting this passwords do not match then finally okay for images we are not having anything so you don't have to write this one you can just write this insert query whatever columns we are having inside the admin table that is admin name admin email and admin password then inside this values this entire data whatever variables you create here for admin that you have to pass you have to execute this query okay this cart all you don't have to worry this cart section you don't have to write inside admin only till here you can write and you can perform the admin registration okay you don't have to write this user ip okay because we are not going to do any cart action only this many things you have to perform just copy the entire same thing from here just change the variables and just display that one okay unless and until you don't try by yourself you will not get the answers for this one okay you will not get practice so i have decided whatever i have done previously you can just take the entire same thing and you can paste that okay from here you just copy till here you copy and one if loop you just close here close the php and then finally change the table name we are having admin table okay entire thing is same there is no change in the process only thing is you just have to change the variable you don't have to move the image and also you don't have to include the uh, image and all okay we have done password hashing as well you can see password hash and here whatever hashing we have done that is stored inside this one so while entering we are just going to insert this password hash okay that is hash password variable okay this is all you have to do inside admin registration i'll just do control b now i'll open user login and also i'm just going to open admin login okay i'll just open user login here I'll come down and here I'll just open user login. Okay, I'll close this admin registration. Uh, I don't know why it's not getting open. I'll just open this admin login here. Okay, now for user login, you can see you just have to include this one and also you have to start the session because we should know which admin is active. 
so rest everything is same you can see we are having don't have an account register everything is same then here i have given user login and for this button i have given admin login in the same way you just have to check for this condition if this is set i am accessing the values from the input field i am selecting the data from the database if this data is present i am counting the number of rows okay rest everything is same okay whatever this cart if you don't want to give you can okay cart you can remove there is no need of cart here you, okay you just have to do the credentials let me just show you you can see if this row count we have fetched the number of count if this is greater than 0 this all you don't have to write if this is greater than 0 then we are starting the session and inside this session we are just storing this username then i am doing password verify then here i am just counting this one okay login successful if this is not if okay if this login is successful then i should be redirected to index.php file okay not profile page i should be redirected to index page okay then you don't have to give this else okay you can remove okay then finally you can instead of giving this else you can just give this else okay else invalid credentials okay this will be our first if condition this is for counting the number of rows this is the first if condition okay if this is getting matched then inside this you don't have to give this entire thing directly you can pass this message login successful or else you can give this invalid credentials okay this is for password then this is for row count okay i hope you understood okay if you don't understand you can refer the previous videos and inside that also i have created multiple login sections you can refer that one and you can get the result okay for login as i told you you don't need this get ip you don't need this cart function this entire thing you can remove okay this else is for this password if these are not getting matched then i'll be getting this one this entire thing don't need directly you can just write this echo message login successful perform by yourself if you get errors if you try to solve by yourself only then you will understand the concepts okay until then you will not understand any concepts just try by yourself even if you are not getting explore youtube there are plenty and plenty of videos in youtube you can refer that and you can get the result and you can get the output as well then after that finally let me just do control b and inside this inside this profile.php okay admin profile.php uh, this is the user profile.php here i have started the session you just start the session inside admin index.php after starting the session to display the name you can just refer this one okay you can see if this session is not set then i will be getting welcome guest if this is set then i will be getting the admin name okay you can create the logout okay whatever logic we have done previously you can apply the same thing and you can give your own design you can create your own logic whatever you want to display you can display that one and what you don't want to display you can just ignore that one okay this we have done inside profile.php but for admin you can do inside index.php okay the same process whatever we have done for profile the same thing you do here inside index.php to display the admin name okay again i don't want to explain this because we have already done many times i don't want to waste your time okay so that is the reason i have stopped here if you are still having any doubt then you can go to that videos you can refer that one and you will definitely get the answer for this keep on practicing this one this project is very big so sometimes it is very confusing you will get stuck at one particular point so if you get stuck you don't have to stop you have to explore by yourself nobody can help you better than you so explore by yourself find out the solutions we are having plenty of websites where we get solutions so find out that website explore as much as you can try by yourself practice by yourself then you will have more clarity on the concept okay this is all about admin login and admin registration if you people are still having doubt then maybe in future i will be recording for admin login and admin registration logic and i will be uploading that in my channel so you can refer that one as of now if you are doing this one if you have reached till here then try by yourself and implement by yourself if you are still having doubt in udemy i have uploaded one course okay that is complete registration system you can refer that one i have uploaded the source code as well you can refer that one you can copy the entire same thing and you can paste here that also will work and you will get the result okay it completely depends you can refer youtube you can refer google or you can refer my code as well okay that's all for this session from next session i will be summarizing whatever we have done till now then later on i will be telling you what all is pending and how we are going to perform that one